A very good morning to you. You're welcome to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. My name is Rome Paulson. It's a very beautiful Monday morning. How was your weekend? How are you doing today? Well, on today's breakfast show, we'll be taking several hot topics, one of which Kogi government rescues abducted students of Confluence University. Another is Wiki acknowledges error in supporting Fubara amid river state crisis. We'll also be taking stories, making headlines in our national dailies, as well as some top trending stories. But first, let's check out our quote of the day. Hold on to your dreams of a better life and stay committed to striving to realize it. And that is by L. G. Graves Sr. He was an American entrepreneur, publisher, businessman, philanthropist, and advocate of African-American businesses. And he says this morning, hold on to your dreams of a better life and stay committed to striving to realize it. So what does that tell you this morning? Whatever dreams you have, whatever aspirations, whatever lofty ideas that you have this morning, make sure that you hold on to it. The dream of a better life. Yes, you can have that better life. You deserve it. If you do not, do not deserve it, I don't know who else does. Everyone deserves a better life and so do you. So make sure that you're holding on to that dream of a better life and do not stop striving to realize it. Obviously, even if you have you know, the best of dreams, if you do not strive to realize it, it just never would come. So it's better for you to start putting in the work, anything that would help you to get to that place, um, to that better life. You have to start putting in the work. If you know that you need to move from point A to point B, and this is what you need to be able as a vehicle to move you there, then you have to ensure that you enter into that vehicle. So be it maybe um, going back to school to study, be it making sure that you're writing those equations, be it journaling, be it you know just sitting down in a conference where people are pouring into you be it getting an advice from a friend um, be it collaborating with other people to ensure that that idea comes to fruition and then you have to keep striving for it so hold on to that dream the dream of a big beautiful life and make sure that you're striving to realize it to achieve it and you just never know what the future has in store for you you would realize that wow, I'm glad that I, you know, worked for it. And I remember those days when I was in the corner of my room, um, writing down those little ideas, but look at me now, um, I'm better now. I have a, be a better life, I have a big, beautiful life, and I've been able to achieve all that I set for myself. So what LG Grace is saying this morning is hold on to that um, better life, the dreams of the better life, and make sure that you're striving to realize it. And you will just have it. All right, that's it for our quote of the day. We'll move over to some top trending stories this morning. Um, our first top trending story, well, this talks about JTF uncovers 50 illegal refining sites in Bielsa Forest. The Joint Military Task Force, JTF in the Niger Delta, codename Operation Delta Safe OPDS, says it has uncovered over 50 illegal refining sites in the Biseni Forest of Yenagua, local government area of Bielsa State. The commander OPDS, um, Rear Admiral John KK, who led the operation on Sunday, May 12, said that illegal refining of stolen crude oil was taking place in each of the sites uncovered. He said that a large dugout open pit that could accommodate more than 10 trucks of automotive gas oil, AGO, popularly known as diesel, was being used to hold crude oil from the distribution point to their cooking sites. I recall that earlier, um, he had earlier warned oil thieves in the area to desist from illegal business or relocate to another area. He equally recalled that on May 9, 2024, the troops were at Ukwa West, the local government in Abia State, bordering River State and Emo River, and he had a similar warning for criminals to stop the illegalities. Okeke said in quotes, today, like I said, we are not going to relent and it is a work in progress. We will not get tired. We will continue to give criminals hell. We are now in Biseni in Yenogwa local government area of Bayosa State. We traversed from Haoda West local government area of River State to reach this point. The most surprising thing is that this place we are now in is housing over 50 cooking sites with unique arrangements. 
it is where the thieves operating in this area have decided to be so smart by connecting what is called theft line made of two inches pipe a galvanized pipe connecting directly to supply oil on the road from a distance of one kilometer they also have a lot of funny connections where they have various arrangements of linking multiple connections where each of the oil thieves get their supply wow <laughs> this is quite it's, it's quite alarming but it's not surprising because i mean we've always known about oil theft um you see pictures of um stolen crude and obviously this is what they do with it um illegal refining sites now obviously this is you know a crime so no one should be um stealing crude in the first place and then you're refining it <laughs> by yourself now i'm just wondering what the government is doing to combat this but then aside combating it how can we turn this into our favor so um you hear of you know potakot refineries about to start soon uh, but we haven't really seen anything um coming out from there dangote refinery also has been scheduled to start producing but we haven't really seen anything yet from there as well so i'm wondering what the government is doing with these people who are um refining this product now i know it might not be the best um, um mechanization to do that but how can you work hand in hand with them to ensure that they are refining these products and you know the product is flowing in the country we're not going to be seeing um you know the the long queues in the in the gas station where people have to buy fuel or you know even some marketers hoarding fuel right because now we have a lot of that in supply so I'm wondering what the government is doing. And I mean, if I was to advise, I think the government should work with these people on how to ensure that we're refining these products. But still, stealing um, crude oil is a criminal act. And so they definitely have to um, face the music. So uh, if you are doing this, so all we have to tell you is to detest the from it you cannot be stealing what is for the government or what is meant for everyone in nigeria so make sure that you're looking for a better job for yourself instead of stealing and it's just how it's just funny how they've you know it, it's just turned into a a, a cartel or a conglomerate they have phone lines they have um pipes that link from one to another and i'm happy that you know the the task force on this is making sure that they're moving around the different states and ensuring that oil theft is being um is combated and because i'm sure this is something we've spoken about on the show um a couple of times talking about oil theft um you see you know even um place containers or crude on the on the high sea and you just hear oh it was stolen so i'm wondering what the government is doing because that is a lot of our revenue going away and i know for a fact that majority of our revenue in nigeria comes from crude so if people keep stealing this crude then what do we have that's the reason why we keep um plunging down into death we keep borrowing money um because the little money that we have you know goes away people are stealing it and you cannot be stealing something that is meant for an entire nation and just using it for yourself or um, maybe selling it for peanuts to other people I understand that you need to put food on your table but you need to do it the right way so kudos to the um, to the task force on this I hope you guys keep working keep doing more but let's find a way that we can turn this into our favor and these people can work for the Nigerian government and I think that would be nice all right, moving over to another top trending story. This one says gunmen killed two policemen in Enugu. The Enugu State Police Command confirmed the killing of the two police operatives in a statement on Saturday. Armed hoodlums suspected to be members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and its military wing, the Eastern Security Network, ESN, have gone down two policemen in Enugu State. In a statement by the police spokesman in the state, Daniel Ndukwe, the operatives were on routine stop and search along the presidential road in Nugu on Friday night when they suddenly came under attack by men who operated in three SUV jeeps. He stated that the commissioner of police, Kanayo Uzegu, has ordered the deployment of the command's operational, tactical and intelligence resources to sustain the ongoing operations to hunt down and bring the criminal elements to book. This is quite sad. Um, 
we need to realize that whatever is going on in Nigeria, we are all facing it together. And these people, they are human beings. They have families, they have friends, they have loved ones. They probably have some kids. And why would you kill? I understand that, you know, where maybe some of us are not, you know, in the happiest state of, of where Nigeria is at the moment, but you cannot be taking another person's life just to show your frustration or your anger that's 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 out of it totally it's so sad that um these two policemen have been killed and i just pray that you know whoever or the people who have perpetrated this type of crime um they're brought to justice i pray that these policemen you know they find justice or their families find justice for the lives that have been taken away from them um I, it, it's quite it's quite disheartening that you're hearing things like this day in day out um people are being killed and this i understand that you know these are policemen they are kind of like the law enforcers right but you still need to understand that aside that they are also citizens in nigeria that is someone like you imagine if you were taken away from your family that is quite sad and my heart goes out to the families of this policeman. I, I hope that they rest the, the, the lives or the souls of this policeman, they rest in peace and I hope that they find justice to this. All right, to our final top trending story, this one says Nigeria Customs signs MOU with China Customs to enhance trade. The Nigeria Customs Service, um, NCS, has signed a memorandum of understanding, an MOU with the General Administration of Customs of the People's Republic of China, GAAC, to foster bilateral relationship for the enhancement of economic growth. Recall that the Controller General of Customs, CGC Adewale Adeniye, last week led some of his management team in Shiseng, where he highlighted the significance of nothing bilateral affiliations with China, which he, according to him, will boost the two countries' import-export operations and favor the businesses of SMSEs in Nigeria. Speaking at the signing ceremony, Adeni commended the Vice Minister of the General Administration of Customs of the People's Republic of China, Wang Lingjong, for showing interest in signing the MOU with the NCS, adding that the recent exponential rise in the development of e-commerce. Adeni expressed optimism that the NCS GAAC Memorandum of Understanding will serve as a critical component of cooperative security and trade relationship between the two nations' customs agencies. Mr. Wang Lingjung of the General Administration of Customs, who represented the Vice Minister Sun Yung, and signed the MOU on behalf of the People's Republic of China, expressed satisfaction over Dania's vision that the affiliation between the two agencies will serve as a mechanism for creating opportunities that Nigeria and China share on a wide range of economic issues and trade facilitation. Great news for, for Nigeria and for China. This is amazing. This is what we love to hear. We love to hear when we know that, yes, we're doing things with other country and that can have a ripple effect on our economy. So with this, obviously, I know what the import duty is right now. And we've seen how, you know, things are so expensive. So we're hoping that this would definitely help. Um, when it comes to importing things and even we'll have better exports to China. China is, you know, I think the second global economy in the world. And so for us to have, you know, some ties or some relationship, um, a bilateral relationship with them, that is amazing. And so we can even tap into their economy. Now, I'm sure it's obviously going to be a symbiotic relationship whereby China also has something to gain from us. And the same way we have a lot to gain from China. So great news. I hope that you know the Nigerian government keep um, keep up keep working on things like this, having relationships with other countries that can definitely benefit us, benefit our economy, and then uh, you know the citizens at large. So great news, what I love to hear, and I hope to just keep working at it. All right, that's it for our top trending stories. We'll go on a short break. When we return, we'll be looking at the papers. Please stay with us.